You see that locker right there? It may look like an ordinary locker, but it's not. What if I told you that locker was built for a zombie apocalypse and has an entire secret room behind it? That's crazy, right? You're probably wondering why this locker exists. Let me explain real quick. Testing, testing, hello. So in 2014, a man named Chud327 posted a video called Zombie Shelter Part 1. Basically, he was showing off his shelter that he created. I guess he created it because he thought there could have been a zombie apocalypse. It's a possibility. But today, I'm going to be spending overnight in it. How you can't. Let's get one thing straight. If there was a zombie apocalypse, I would probably not be in there. Because I would probably be a zombie. It's either you or me. Let's take a look in there. So right behind one of these doors is a secret room. Oh, the wrong door. Um, so right behind this door is where I'm staying the night. So let's take a look inside of this. What the heck is going on here? So it looks to me like someone tried to hide an already hidden room. So I'm just gonna have to take matters into my own hands. Here's to, here's to surviving from zombies. Oh, look at that. Let's see what it's like in there. Ah, getting in here is so hard. So this is my crib for the night. Um, I'm not entirely sure what a crib is, but it's pretty tight in here. I'll just have to sleep very uncomfortably. It's very small. So I'm not going to bed yet because it's two o'clock in the afternoon, but I'll come back later when I'm ready to go to bed. Also, just to make sure I stay in here all night, my sister's gonna lock this door behind me and let me out tomorrow at 7 a.m. Yep, you heard me right. I'm gonna be trapped in here no matter what, even if the house is on fire or something insane. So, let's go get some sleep. Okay, you can lock it. Trying. It's locked. Make sure you're videoing. It cannot be opened. Okay. Good night, go turn off the lights. As you can see, I'm locked in here until tomorrow at 7 a.m. Well, it looks like I'm in here for the night. So I got my pillow, I got my blanket, and... I forgot to bring the bedding. Hello? Hello? I need some help. Well, it looks like I'm trapped in here with only my pillow and my blanket. I guess I'm sleeping on wood. All right, so the... All right, so by the looks of things, we're trapped right now, but I don't have to be because there's a possibility that I can escape. All right, so on this corner, there's an air vent. And if I can just maybe take that vent off, go through it like in Among Us, I can get out. I know it's a stretch, but I'm a pretty small dude. Like, I'm 5'3", so it's not impossible. I just need to find a way to get it off. So my plan to escape through a vent, like on Among Us, was failing right in front of my own eyes. I mean, this screw was so tight and it wouldn't unscrew at all. I didn't, I don't even think I'm gonna get through that anyway. Can't go up there. Can you imagine if there was like zombies banging on that door? Like on Minecraft? <laughs> Did those zombies out there get their tickets to a gun show? To come see these guns? Shut up. Okay, you know what? Time to get some exercise in. Time to get that exercise, since you guys made fun of me. <laughs> this is a weird angle. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that just made you get so much hotter in here. All that working out is depleting my resources. I could go for a midnight snack right now. Maybe like an onion, because they have layers. Or I could be watching Shrek, but I'm still trapped in here. All right, so this is what I'm working with. I'm just gonna have to lay like this and try to get some sleep later on. It is pretty hot in here. I did think about that. It'd probably be better if this door was open. I could have a little bit of airflow because there's no reason for it to be locked because I don't fake videos. I think I'm just gonna message my sister and tell her to come up and open the door. All right, so my sister's finally coming. 
Thank goodness. Are you feeling claustrophobic? No, I need some airflow. Okay. There you go, you got airflow. All right, so I pulled some strings and the door is open now. All right, so it's like 10.30ish. This looks like the bed from Minecraft. Doesn't it? Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back to go to bed. Cause I'm staying here all night. That's for sure. All right guys, I'm probably about to go to sleep, but I wanted to remind you guys that only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you like this video, consider subscribing because it's free and you can always change your mind. And if I ever make a terrible video, you can unsubscribe just as fast. But that day is not soon to come. And I know I just plugged my channel, but I'm laying on a wood floor. I mean, what did you expect? So time to turn off, turn out the lights. So I had a time-lapse camera running for most of the night. After the time-lapse was done, it was like 19 minutes. I don't know if that's really long or short for a time-lapse, but if, if anybody happens to know, let me know in the comments. So the reason I did a time-lapse is because I watched a lot of overnight videos before making this one, and like at least 50% of them were fake. So I tried to make it more real. So this half of the time-lapse is just like a black screen. You can see I, I woke up a couple times and then went back to sleep, and then eventually my camera just died, I guess. Good morning, sleepyhead. I wanted to say that like Ryan Trahan always says that. Once I fell asleep last night, I actually slept great. Um, but I did sleep in really late because the sun never rises in here. So I'm gonna go make some coffee. Why do people watch overnight videos? Was that entertaining? Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. This is Infernox over and out.